hi everyone so getting back to the discussion of the second task where we would be creating azure vm so we would be creating an azure vm using arm templates and that arm templates would be there in the repo azure repos and so i'd also actually included one more thing while we are trying to install tomcat in azure vm we are going to use a custom script extension so we would actually have a shell script which uh, will be uploaded into the storage account and from the storage account we would be actually taking that shell script and we would be executing a custom script extension so for to do that i would also actually create a storage account and for the sake of uh, ease of explaining things i have included that arm template with uh, azure vm and storage account so let me go and explain how this arm template works so i have taken this arm template from the uh, git uh, git quick start template so you can actually find that if you can go and uh, if you search in a uh, google for azure quick start template on a simple linux vm so the, there is a 101 vm with simple linux and you go inside that repository git repository you would actually find that templates so i have tweaked a bit of things i'll explain what are the uh, things which i have tweaked this that particular uh, uh, arm template is all about deploying an azure vm but here if you could actually see uh, i have also as i mentioned i would also wanted to the storage account to be created so that the shell script would be in the storage account and from there i would actually execute the shell script so to do that uh, now if you see uh, in arm templates you can always refer my uh, arm template video where i created a vm on that and i have explained in detail about uh, arm template but let me do that again but i'll actually speed up the explanation because we have a lot of things to be done in this process so once we have created the arm template we would uh, create a task in build pipeline and the same thing we'll build a task in the release pipeline and once we will go and validate it uh, going into azure portal whether uh, the storage account and the uh, vm has been uh, created or not so jumping into the arm template here it is so there are three important things which to be notified in arm template one is parameters the other one is variables and the other things are resources so whatever you see in parameters those are all uh, things which you can actually as a uh, when you're deploying things you can give that as a separate parameters uh, while executing a command or some or when you're trying to deploy it in portal you can actually edit those things so you can edit the vm name so in fact if you're not providing any vm name the default value would be a simple linux vm i haven't made any changes much in those whatever there are in the quick start template you would be pretty much seeing the same thing but i haven't much tweaked on that part so parameters are something which you can change while you are deploying things or uh, deploying the arm template uh, but whereas the variable is something a fixed one you can't you can't be able to tweak it uh, so yeah but in case when you're writing the uh, arm template you can uh, you can change it here but while deploying you don't get a chance to change the variables they are constants and now coming to the resources uh, this defined it as an array that is multiple resources are being deployed uh, and if you see the one type of one resource is storage account the other resource is uh, network interface card for the machine and the other resource is network security groups nsg for the vm so i enabled 22 port and i also enabled 8080 port for the tomcat because tomcat listens in 8080 port by default and uh, i also uh, after this nsg and 
cre has been created I am also creating a virtual network that's one resource and I'm creating a public IP address for the machine in reality uh, what happens is your machines would not be having public IP address probably there would be a load balancer would be set up or an application gateway would be set up and uh, from there the routing would be going into these VMs through the private IP that's typical how it's set up in in real in production but here I'm not making it too much a complicated setup on that process so I'm actually just creating a public IP address for this machine and then after this things are done I'm creating a virtual machine so there they, it wouldn't be much of a difference if you are actually going and creating a uh, VM of a SSH or a password based because uh, you are not gonna log into the VM you are gonna just uh, do it from uh, through the Azure portal point of view through the Azure perspective, you are going to go and deploy, uh, execute this custom script extension. So I'm not uh, bothered much here with what kind of log uh, uh, authentication type the VM would be. And uh, I would actually go and I needed this kind of outputs where one is uh, I would need the host name, I would need the storage account name, and I would need the uh, resource group location and the VM name. So these outputs are needed for the upcoming tasks. So I mentioned those. Now if you go inside the parameters, I just named the username as trainer and the admin uh, the password as Indian at the rate one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's what is the ARM template is all about. So I'll take this uh, I got this ARM template as I mentioned from the GitHub repository. You can go ahead and clone it into your local repository or you can fork it and uh, copy those files and keep it in your local workstation as I mentioned uh, you will be keeping that in the local workspace where the age this repository which has been located so let me open my PowerShell I have copied those uh, these two ARM templates and I modified accordingly and I uploaded that into this uh, folder. Now, if you could see, I was able to uh, see these two parameters. I am actually going and adding those, and dropping a message. I'm pushing it to the remote repository so I have to mention which branch or I origin master it has been successfully pushed so let me go and check it whether there is so we have the we have this two on uh, two ARM templates so if we go inside the build pipeline I it is being executed but as there are no tasks that's why I have disabled the tasks we have disabled it so it will just run empty there will be a, just an empty run in terms of even the release would also be triggered as I enable the continuous release but there are no tasks in the release so even that would be an empty run so if you see I have uploaded the uh, um, template to repository this is done now the next thing is I have to create a task in the build pipeline let me go and edit the pipeline the first thing is I would need these arm templates to be copied into the artifact location so that I could actually access those arm templates in this release so that's how typically would be done so I'm actually going and enabling copying files from the source code so the default work working directory so what files to be copied are these so I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna mention that
so the target location is artifact staging directory and i would like this artifact to be published so into the drop location so i'm gonna save it So we have created the tasks in build pipeline. So if you wanted this, this is a uh, copy files and you can find those tasks here. When you search for it, you can search it here and you can get it. So this is about the pipeline and I'm going inside the release, but let me go and execute this pipeline and see how does it work. So the agent is being allocated here. The first thing the files are being these two files are being copied uh, to the st artifact staging directory and from the staging directory it was published into a drop location and so let's go and create those tasks to access from the artifact and we can go ahead and deploy that. So here we're going to deploy and this is an arm deployment. I'll set that particular task. And here I would like the deployment to happen in a resource group. So the first thing which we have to do here is we have to go and create a resource group. So I have created a resource group called demo RG. So let me go and first select this service connection here. And that is service connect O1 and the subscription so I could be able to find the subscription so what is the resource groups which are available are so, I'll, uh, so the ARM templates will go inside the demo RG01 and whatever the resources which have to be deployed by from the template would be deployed into this resource group So I'll go and uh, select the template first. It is in the drop location. As from the build pipeline, uh, it was being copied into the drop location. You would be able to find here in the drop location. And the parameters are, so this is a parameter file. For this deployment, there is output as we mentioned, if you can remember. So these are the four outputs which are being coming. So I wanted uh, to name those output as ARM output. Let me go and save it. And let me go ahead and create a release. So it is taking from the artifact of this and it's gonna release. If you go and check the release three logs the agent is not yet been uploaded so the agent is not been yet assigned the deployment has been failed the reason why is so there is an issue with the service principle let me actually go and Edit. I'll go inside this active directory inside the app registrations and click on the Tomcat AD Azure app. Go ahead and create the secret. it and try recreating it once again so 
so this is the application id and this is the subscription id and it's a free trail and this is a tenant id edit the release pipeline and I'll go inside this and let me select the service oh, um, this sub free trial and subscription is for seven okay and the resource group is demo rg01 and the location is East US so there is a template selected and everything the ARM template is an incremental deployment and I'll go ahead and I'll save it and I'll create a release so the agent is getting assigned there you go the agent has been assigned and it is going and downloading the artifact so the deployment has been completed let us go and validate it let us go and do the group by type so once there is a virtual machine which is being created there will be OS disk automatically cre being created for that so we don't have to deploy any resource for it the second one we are created a, there is a network interface ca card which has been created there is NSG which has been created and now you go and see the inbound rules we allowed 8080 and we load SSH into those machine and the second thing there is a public IP address which has been created in East US and there is a storage account which has been created and there is a, virtual machine which has been created and we have a virtual network so now if you get into this we are able to edit the tasks in the release pipeline which is the arm template deployment and then we are actually validated the deployment whether it's happened or not so what happened initially why the service connection was not happened it was the secret has been uh, expired and when there is an actually kind this kind of issue happens so we need to delete that service connection certain times and recreate it so in usual certain environment they do develop environments you might be not be having access to do do such activities so whoever is actually actually is been administering the service connections you have to go and contact them and they would be either going and creating a new service connection or they would be updating the service connection existing service connection so this is about it uh, please subscribe and you can post your comments uh, regarding any specific videos definitely I'll do come up with those next one to two weeks